So I'm here in Excel, I've entered a date, and I'd like to have that day, but the month change. How can I do that easily in Excel? And I'm going to show you that here on Windows and a Mac, basically exactly the same. And I can do this by entering dates down or across. I'm going to show you how to do that down. So all I do, you're probably familiar with autofill, move to the bottom right hand corner of a cell, click and drag, and it will automatically enter them as a sequence going up one day at a time. Let's just undo that. I'm just going to do Control Z or if I'm on a Mac, Command Z and it undoes it. So how do I do it with the month? So what I do is I right click and that now becomes an arrow, whereas before it stayed as a crosshair. I now click and drag that down. Sorry, move the mouse. Let me do that again. Busy talking to you. So let's right click, click and drag that down. And I'm just going to let go of it here so that we can see the menu that pops up. And this is exactly the same on a Mac as well. And you'll see that it's got here, it's this section here, fill months. And if I do that, it will just fill in the months for me. Let's take a look at that and then just take a quick look at the other options in a moment. So there you go. It's now got it as June, July, August, September, so on, keeping that same date there. I'm just going to highlight that again. So if I want to get rid of that, all I have to do is click and drag to take that back up. Quick look at doing that on a Mac and what happens is you'll see exactly the same thing. Right click here or hold down control and click if you haven't got the right mouse set up. Rather than becoming an arrow, it becomes a hand. Click and drag it down, same menu pops up. So as you can see, it works exactly the same way. And I really like the consistency there. Let's just take a look at some of those other options to do with dates and there are more options with the autofill. So once again, right click, click and drag it down. And let's just see here, we've got fill days, which is what we had before where it just automatically filled them in a sequence. Fill weekdays, doesn't include the weekend. So if I do that, it pops that in. So you can see it does 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th not there. And you can see down here, 2nd and 3rd of July, not there. Doesn't take into account bank holidays, public holidays, because we don't know what they are. They vary from country to country, but this can be useful. Let's just drag that back up. So that's one quick way of deleting them. Oh, by the way, you could, let me just do that again. Let's choose fill years because now it's going up with same date, but different year. If I did too many, I could click and drag that up. So that's all I wanted. I can also have extended it by right clicking and continuing on as well. So you can, you're not limited. And once again, I could choose my fill days and fill weekdays, which has gone off the screen there. So that's how you can fill in sequences for years. So, and for dates rather. So you've got now days, weekdays, months, and years.